So, just a few months ago, I put together this animated map for Ava Zubek when she jogged the peaks of the Balkans. And for that particular project, I created a distance counter that showed the distance in both imperial and metric. So today I want to break down how I put that together. It's a pretty simple technique that uses some basic expressions. However, it can be applied in a variety of different scenarios, and I think it's really useful and just cool. So, let's get into it. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So if you follow me here on YouTube, then clearly you're a fan of motion design, Adobe After Effects, map making, and even data visualization. Well, Skillshare is a cool online learning community that has content focusing on all these topics. I recently finished a course called Introduction to Data Visualization from Data to Design. This is a really interesting course from Nicholas Felton. He goes over all the tools you need, how to ask proper questions, how to get the data, explore and extend the data, tools and design for visualization. He even touches on statistics, typography, color. There's also a ton of great After Effects content from the After Effects king, Jake Bartlett. He shows you how to use the graph editor, shows you how to work with shape layers. Skillshare is ad-free so you can stay focused on the content and they're always adding new premium content content to the site, and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, I have a new After Effects project set up here and I'm gonna start from scratch just to keep things simple and easy to follow. The way these paths are generally animated is you have a shape layer, so I'm gonna grab the pen tool here and it's usually a stroke that's animating on. So I'm gonna turn off the fill and turn on the stroke and then I'm gonna quickly draw something out and we'll say that this is our jogging path that Ava took in that map animation. Okay, so here we have a path and usually when they're animated on, they're animated via a trim paths animator. So you can add one down here, trim paths, and then if you open this up, you can see there's an end parameter that goes from zero to 100. To animate this on, you just keyframe it from zero to 100 and there you go. Let's say this is her, let's say that's her start point and this is her end point. So zero is her start point, 100 is her end point. So how can we get a metric counter? I am gonna grab the text tool, put some text up here. Doesn't matter what you type in, I'm just gonna rename it kilometers. You can call it metric or whatever you want. I'm gonna make sure it's right aligned. And now what I wanna do is I want the keyframes of this to drive this counter. So for that, I'm gonna go grab the source text and I'm gonna grab the property pick whip here and I'm gonna attach this to this parameter. And now you can see we, we have a 100, so it looks like it's connected, I'm gonna reposition it here. And if I go to the beginning, we have zero, so this is definitely connected to these keyframes. And if I open this up, you can now see there's an expression here that says this comp, go to the, use the path layer, go down to trim paths and use the in parameter. However, there's a problem. We have all these decimals, so we need to clean this up. So I'm gonna go down here to the path in parameter. I'm gonna hold Alt and then click on the stopwatch. It's important that I hold Alt, otherwise it'll delete all the keyframes. And I wanna round this off using an expression. So I'm gonna go hit on this little arrow here, this menu, and I'll go to JavaScript math, and then just put in math.round, and that'll round the value out. And I'll click out. Now you can see I have a rounded number here. It's going from 0 to 100. Now, the problem is, this isn't 100 kilometers in length. This is actually 192 kilometers. So how are we going to convert this to get it to show 192? Well, the good thing is it goes from 0 to 100, which is really simple to divide by this or to, to recalculate. So I just need, I know that at 100, I want it to be 192 instead. So that's a simple math problem there. So all I need to do is divide 192 by 100, which gives me 1.92. And if you didn't know, if you divide by 100, all you need to do is take your starting amount and move the decimal point to the left by two digits. And what are we gonna do with that number? Well, I just go to my text here and I hit E twice to bring up that expression again. Right now it's reading this, which is going from zero to 100. So I just wanna take that amount and I wanna multiply it, um, which I'm gonna hold shift and hit eight for the multiplication. I'm gonna multiply it by that number, 192, which will give us 192, and all these other amounts will now be good to go. But you can see, once again, we have another decimal issue, and that's because I multiplied by 192. Well, there's another expression that's gonna allow me to fix this. I could use math round again. However, I wanna have something a little more dynamic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this off in parentheses, and then at the end I'm gonna type in period to fixed. 
And what's cool about this is I can, whatever value I put in here is gonna make that the new decimal number amount. So if I hit zero, there's gonna be no decimals. If I hit five, there's gonna be five. Cool, huh? That gives you some flexibility to go crazy. So I'm gonna hit zero, but if the client comes back and says, hey, I wanna see more specific number, put in two decimals, it's super easy. All right, now I've got this and the, the distance or the amount is correct. However, I don't know that these are kilometers. How can I specify that these are kilometers? Well, I could create another text layer, type in KM, and then grab it, bring it over here, attach it. However, there's, a, there's kind of a cooler way to do this. And that is go back down here to your expression, and then at the very end, I can add what's called a string value. I think it's called a value. And it will allow me to put in whatever text I want that's gonna just attach it to the side here. If I put it on the right, it's gonna attach it to the end here. If I put it to the left of this, it's gonna attach it to the left side of this. So I want my KM to be at the right side. So for this, I'm just gonna add it. So I'm gonna hit the plus key, and then quotation marks, KM. And this is my string value. Whatever's in the quotation marks is gonna be my string. And now you can see I have the KM in here. Even if I put a space before the KM, check it out. It reads it up here, which is really cool. Boom. Now I have a proper distance counter. Okay, so it was at this point where I had, you know, I had added this metric counter to my map for Ava, delivered it, and she said, you know what, I have a lot of viewers in America. Can we add Imperial to this? You know, an Imperial counter. So I said, okay. So what I did for that is I duplicated my metric one, and I called it miles. What I did here is I grabbed this, move it down here. Now let's reformat this. We just gotta tinker around with the expression. I'm gonna hit E twice, and down here, the first thing I wanna do, so I know that these are miles, is I'm gonna go down and change my string. Just type in MI for miles. I'm pretty sure that's the abbreviation for miles, right? Now what I need to do is I need to do another calculation. Basically, whatever formula to calculate miles from kilometers, so how many miles are in a kilometer, or vice versa. So, I'm gonna go back to Google, and I have length here, the length conversion. I'm gonna type in one for kilometers, and here we have, this is how many miles, 0.621371. I'm gonna copy that, and then in the miles expression, at the very end here, you can see we have this 192, which is converting it from 100 to this. I'm just gonna go ahead and inside of the parentheses here, I'm gonna add another multiplication and then drop in that value here and then bang, now we have our mileage. So if I go to the end, we can see that it's 119 miles, 192 kilometers. Let's, let's double check that. 192 kilometers is 119 miles. Bada bing, happy client that ran 119 miles, crazy. Why would she do that? Does she not have Netflix? Super cool, and then you can obviously use this for all kinds of different stuff. If you're converting, you know, simple arithmetic, you you do obviously have more advanced methods. If you're using like, um, I think there's an expression called linear that'll allow you to do some pre pretty crazy stuff. And I can go pretty wild with this. So I, you can see any, I could add some variables, clean up these expressions so they're a little more easy to understand, and then actually attach some of these to slider controls. So for example, if this end. Uh, path was, if the end distance was changing, I could attach this 192 to a slider, so I could automatically punch this in, and it will, it will change it in these automatically, and it will automatically do the conversion. Very, very cool. I love playing around with simple expressions like this. If you think you have a better way of putting this together, drop me a comment down in the comment section. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more cool content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And be sure to check out my Monday Maps playlist. I also have a playlist called Tuesday Tools. If you want to check out that Ava Zubek map video, link is in the video description. I'll see you in the next one.